What's up? This is HD News Tech. So this video is gonna be about be about uh, hemophilia awareness. I could have a bleed. I highly doubt because I've been in pain for probably over a month, and I did have a bleeding disease I was born with, and I did have a couple episodes of bleeding that were probably gonna cause permanent uh, pain. And permanent damage, and I worked around it over the years, and now it's finally I'm near 30. And arthritis is most likely a cause, but um, it can be a bleed, but it doesn't seem like it's really doing anything. The legs look the same as they were on both sides, they're not incredibly hot, and it's just I just got arthritis. And there were a couple of bleeds in the legs that were really severe. And when you have blood like this, and your blood's so thin, and you don't have all this protein in your blood, the clot, um, when the episode, when the injury occurs, the person with hemophilia usually bleeds into certain areas of his leg, or wherever the injury is, there'll be blood going through different locations, arteries, and doing damage, and having a high amount of pressure, where it can lead to death if not treated. And um, hemophilia awareness is... This month, for Friday, April 17th, 2020, it's World Hemophilia Day. As you know, it's a really uh, daily disease. It's related to um, factor eight being deficient in that, which I always had trouble with making that clotting protein, which led to bleeding and spontaneous bleed. I only had one of those. And that was last year, and that was really unbearable. But I luckily got treated fast enough where I didn't lose my eyes that I could have. But if you see someone who's bleeding or having trouble with you know, swell or anything, there could be a clotting disorder. Most likely it could be a hemophilia. You know, I'm luckily the, like the most mild of the family. I'm the most mild grandson of the whole family because my mom's father... Both his parents had it. His father had it. His mother was a carrier. His sister was severe with it. And uh, it goes down how that was. He did have a brother, Lutch, who tested negative. He never had hemophilia. He never had bleeding or anything wrong with him with that disease. So he skipped him and then got Johnny and then his, you know, his grandsons because he had daughters that carried the illness and then had sons and someone with one of the daughter's sons who carries the gene, the bad mutation, causing hemophilia itself to exist and, you know, having bleeding issues and not able to have surgery or any kind of dental work without special medicine because the blood just doesn't clot ever in my life. It did ever really do. I've pretty much been on medicine just to treat the bleeding that my body just never could do it. it just doesn't matter. I could take tunnel all day I wanted to the maximum dose and still the issue would not be resolved and be related to my blood being diseased for sure and probably still is in some degrees I'm hoping not but the pain could be a tiny bleed but how bad it's been getting it kind of reminds me of a bleed but not really swelling up like it should but still enough to have pain and I don't know I mean I'm getting older I just the pain is just, I mean, it was severe just walking, getting used to working in the store and then having to go underneath these um, ropes, you know, because of state, because of the laws on how many people they go around both their locations. And apparently that flared my leg up yesterday in my, you know, my joint. So uh, basically, basically, it's been sore. And after like 12, 15 hours or more, it has gone down on pain. It takes a long time. It takes over 12 hours from last night till right now. Dassy feel a lot better in a way, but still having a bit, a bit of it in you, a pain, you know, but not as severe as it was taking off that ring gear and going to lunch. And during that hour, the pain has that pain did go down. It did just appear. From me, and you know, it still hurt a little bit, but not as severe. Tying my shoes, getting up, and that's when the pain hit me. And um, it might be 
arthritis. I'm hoping it's just that and not another bleed scenario that can cause more damage in the future if it's not treated. And right now, I can't go to the hospital because this COVID-19 um, virus is apparently uh, hospitals can't keep up and there's a risk of infection. And if there was a way and this virus didn't really show up in the U.S., I most likely would go to the hospital and get checked out again. But since it's in every hospital in the U.S. and the hospitals are over crammed with people, it's just not worth it. I mean, hopefully this pain resolves. The, it was in the butt of like a month ago or more and then it had finally went down the leg. And this might just be a nerve issue. I mean, I might have just a pinching nerve in there, and it's, I mean, it's kind of like this when you work a lot. You're not used to working so hard. And definitely, this last few weeks has been really busy um, with shoppers and helping and all that. And, you know, I used to last night, and that didn't really take any help. But the best that helped us just rest, getting off of it for a while, for a good amount of hours. I know it took more than eight hours to get rid of the pain, that's for sure, and that's that tells me that's something bad, but hopefully not. But you know. If you do the channel, go ahead and subscribe and comment like below because it could really help. Cause I'm in the progress of saving money for a gaming rig, which I might just wait a while because I mean if I get permission I can use that G Force now. It would allow me to use the data cap, the data from my IEC that's unlimited for 30 days because of this huge outbreak of this virus. They won't count the data and they won't charge me for it. It's just a regular 55, something like that a month. Instead of being probably around $90 if I went over a lot of data. And yeah. So far, a lot of ISPs are giving in to this. Which is good. I guess there's a lot more people streaming and doing work at home from their own desktop and laptops. They at the bottom. Luckily, I got my own. But um, it's seen its days, and it's it's just getting outdated. And there's needs there needs to be a new computer bot. And uh, I don't know what I'm going to do with this machine after I'm done with it. I mean, I could still use the gaming one once I get it. And just stream the games over the network from the gaming rig to this machine. And it works flawlessly with Steam. In fact, I looked it up and downloaded the iPhone app so I could do it on that too. But uh, things to look forward to. It. There will probably have to be network upgrades in my house to handle the bandwidth. Because currently right now I'm all on wireless and that will not fly. Uh, with gaming, man, it, the, the streaming is not that good on wireless anyway. For you know that kind of service, and it's only like five bucks a month. So once they approve it, I'd find a way to pay for it and use the service. And I think you can only go up to six hours a day. Right now, there's only I'm on a trial for like ninety days, and I only get one hour a day. But after that, I got paid money, and um. Locals offering theirs, but in order to get it, you have to buy something that's over hundred dollars to get the code and stream, and it's just not worth it. I mean, totally not worth it uh, for Google Stadia. And uh, money's tight, and that's not an option. And I can't just buy anything, you know, online. You know, nothing technically without you know asking first, of course. So thanks for watching. See ya.